Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, our mighty God. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, our mighty God. This day God gives me strength of high heaven, sun and moon shining flame in my hearth, flashing of lightning wind in its swiftness deeps of the ocean firmness of earth this day god sends me strength as my steersman might to uphold me wisdom to god your eyes are watchful your ears are listening your lips are speaking friend at my side god's way is my way god's shield is around me god's host defends me saving from ill. Angels of heaven, drive from me always all that would harm me, stand by me still. Rising, I thank you, mighty and strong one, king of creation, giver of rest, firmly confessing threeness of persons, oneness of Godhead, Trinity blessed. Lord, Send forth your light and your truth. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against the godless nation. From deceitful and cunning men, rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? I send forth your light and your truth. Let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the harp, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Almighty Father, source of everlasting light, send forth your truth into our hearts and pour over us the brightness of your light. Lord, send forth your light and your truth. Lord, keep us safe all the days of our life. Once I said, in the noontime of life I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld I shall be consigned. For the rest of my years, I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling, like a shepherd's tent, is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion he breaks all my bones. Day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow I utter shrill cries. I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak, gazing heavenward. O oh Lord, I am in straits. Be my surety. You have preserved my life from the pit of destruction when you cast behind your back all my sins. 
For it is not the netherworld that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do those who go down into the pit await your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks, as I do today. Fathers, declare to your sons, O God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing to stringed instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, keep us safe all the days of our life. To you, O God, our praise is due in Zion. To you, our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you we pay our vows, you who hear our prayer. To you all flesh will come with its burden of sin. Too heavy for us our offenses, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he who you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God our Savior, and hope of all the earth and of far-off distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength. You are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders. The lands of sunrise and sunset you fill with joy. You care for the earth. Give it water. You fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain, and thus you provide for the earth. You drench its furrows. You level it, soften it with showers. You bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness. Abundance flows in your steps. In the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with flocks, the valleys are decked with wheat. They shout for joy, yes, they sing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, hope of all the earth, hear the humble prayer of your children as we sing your praises. Pour out your Spirit on us so that our lives may bear fruit abundantly. To you, O God, our praise is due in Zion. A reading from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. You are not in the dark, brothers, that the day should catch you off guard like a thief. No. All of you are children of light and of the day. We belong neither to darkness nor to night. Lord, listen to my cry. All my trust is in your promise. Lord, listen to my cry. All my trust is in your promise. Dawn finds me watching, crying out for you. All my trust is in your promise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Listen. To my cry, O Lord, all my trust is in your promise. Lord, save us from the hands of all who hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and holy and righteous in his sights all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, save us from the hands of all who hate us. Let us bless our Savior who enlightens the world by his resurrection. Let us humbly beg him, keep us, Lord, on your path. Lord Jesus, we honor your resurrection in our morning prayer. The hope of your glory enlightens our day. Keep us, Lord, on your path. Accept, Lord, our prayers and petitions as the first fruits of our day. Keep us, Lord, on your path. Grant that we may progress today in your love and that all things may work together for our good and the good of all. Keep us, Lord, on your path. Make our light shine so brightly before men that seeing our good works, they may give glory to the Father. Keep us, Lord, on your path. And now, let us pray as the Lord told us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord Jesus Christ, true light of the world, you guide all mankind to salvation. Give us the courage, strength, and grace to build a world of justice and peace, ready for the coming of that kingdom, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.